Sir, do you want to get some oil? How, how slippery are you feeling? Would you like to be more slippery? Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more of Supermarket Simulator, where it's very, very exciting around Dave's awesome supermarket here. We've got our new employee here, Sparky. I don't know his actual name, and I'm just going to keep calling him Sparky because he never responds to me. He just stares dead ahead into the void, a thousand mile stare that all retail employees get over time. And we've got some new products. We're selling peanut butter now and a slightly different kind of oil. It's just very, very exciting. We've got our new candy and cookies and cakes things set up over here. I've got some product to order. Now we're still largely a cereal based store here. So we are gonna keep going on the old cereal thing. I don't have as much money to play with as usual because I bought, you know, a whole new display and a whole new license for some whole new products here. But we've got some stuff we could be kicking along with. I'm going to get another thing of peanut butter. We've got different flour, which is nice, if not spectacular here. We've already got flour. We may as well have that because I think I'm actually sold out of that on the shelf. What else is going on out down here? Pasta, rice, and salt. Well, let's get, say, a box of pasta and a thing of oil because everybody loves being slippery. And then the other oil, in case you didn't like the first slippery, you can go with the second slippery. Or you could use both and be, like, super slippery. You'd effectively be a superhero at that point. You'd be Slippery Man, the slipperiest superhero in town. No, you're right. Admittedly, Sparky, he wouldn't really be that impressive. It's just that you could never catch him. No, you're okay. You're right. No, he would probably be better as a villain. He could be like a thief and you could never, ever catch him because he'd be so slippery. I, I don't know who his nemesis would be. That That's a good one. I, I don't know. Somebody covered in flour, maybe, who could grasp him because he's so slippery, but the other guy would be covered. That's a really good question. We'll talk about that during the day. Who would Slippery Man's nemesis be? I didn't really think through the spaghetti because I actually have nowhere to put that right now. I'll just throw it in the air quote storage over here, which is, well, in the corner of the store at room temperature. There's no climate control of any kind around here. And then I've got whatever... Whatever this is. Oh, it's the other oil. Yeah, okay. So put the other oil down here. What I'll do is when we sell out of one of those pastas, I'll just sort of make that the spaghetti area. Tuck this guy over here. What have I got? Peanut butter. I've got some tea. No, I'm pretty full over there. Now, I think we're good to go, Sparky. Let's just get this place cracked open and I'll fill up as the day goes by. All right, we really want to concentrate this time on the catchphrase, all right? Have a wonderful cereal day as people are leaving. Have a wonderful... You're just dead inside, aren't you? How much is it for an extra shelf? Just for having the conversation. Uh, 200 bucks. I get that right now. I get that. I'm going to get that right now. There. I just did that. I just ordered another shelf. That's how optimistic I am. Largely with no basis in fact. That's how optimistic I am. Hi, thank you, sir. Have a wonderful cereal day. I know you haven't left yet, but have a wonderful cereal day. That's how optimistic I am, unnecessarily so, about the future of this store. I'm just going to put another shelf right, right here. Boom, there we go. That mostly lines up. That's fine. Where'd that spaghetti go? Okay, let's start this process with some spaghetti. And I'm going to stand right here and actually put the price in. You know what? I'm just going to dump the box. Just dump the box and then set the price and then I'll get the box. Wow, this stuff ain't nothing. Three eighty-five to me. How about, uh, let's say five ninety-nine. Let's be fair on the price there. That's two bucks back to me when we sell that. And what else have I got around here? Oh yeah, the box. Let's just get rid of the box, first of all. Well, what other things did I not take advantage of there? Now, of course, I've only got 85 bucks left right now. But what was way down here? The other flour. Uh, rice. How about we get a... Uh, box of rice and a box of salt. You're, uh, you're getting a little backed up there, Sparky. You want, you want to hustle that along there? I got things to do here. I got stock to be putting in. Okay, look at me stocking things, doing managerial kinds of things. So this is uh, lava salt. Okay, no, 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 not for sale yet, sir. Not for, got to drop the box. Not, not for sale yet. Oh, this stuff's great. It's only 75 cents to me. Okay, uh, how about, again, $1.99. All right, I'd rather have people giving us slightly less money than giving us no money at all. I don't want anyone whining about the prices around here. I'll get the trash in a second. I'm working on it. And the rice, that is, ooh, three ninety-five to us. Okay, this one, let's make this six ninety-nine. 
All right, that rice ain't cheap. Okay, grab the trash, get the trash out of here, and then I'll just restock out of my extras, whatever I've got. How are you doing over here? How's the line? Yeah, I'm sorry, it's like his second day, third day, I don't know. Yeah, no, he's, he's, he's not got much going on, but hey, he works pretty cheap. Have a wonderful cereal day, sir. I'm sorry about my employee, Sparky. Have a wonderful, is everyone having a wonderful cereal day? I'm just going to chat up the crowd here. Have a wonderful cereal. You couldn't find flour. It's, it's like, okay, I was going to say it's literally right here, but you're entirely correct, sir. There is some flour here. Apparently, it's not the flour that you wanted, but there is, te excuse, excuse me. I just, I'm trying to get this one yogurt out of here. I'm selling out faster than I get this stuff up on the shelves here. Okay, so I need powdered sugar and the other flour. All right, well, which, which flour do I have right now? There was flour around here somewhere, right? Oh, did we already sell out of it? Okay, we already sold out of that. So, okay, both kinds of flour. And I haven't even checked the dairy case yet, so I'm just going to assume we're almost out of eggs and almost out of bottled water and almost out of cheese, because we pretty much always are. Okay, get all of those on the way, please. Yeah, you're doing a great job. I'll turn, you know, that's fine. I'll turn the lights on for you. I know, that that's your nemesis. That's your kryptonite is turning the lights on. Oh, and we are completely out of milk. Compl I got not. I got nothing for milk here. I got. Excuse me. I gotta. I gotta get some milk ordered like super, super quick around here. Uh, get two cases of milk coming like basically immediately, please. What time is it? It's like seven o'clock. We're getting ready to close anyway, but I gotta get something on the shelves here. These these people are dying without milk. Now, did I actually set a price on this flower? I, I just just live there. Did I actually set a price on this? I. Did not set a price on this. Okay, good. So $6.99 for that flower. Good thing I noticed that one, although we are effectively closed at this point. I'm just going to finish restocking and send Sparky on his way here and whew, relax a little bit. Wait, real big difference in the flower here. This blue flower cost me next to nothing, but the red flower is pretty pricey. I guess it's gourmet artisanal flower handcrafted in the Bavarian forest using ancient techniques. Yes, I've got some milk for you, lady. Chill out. All right, let's wrap this day up, Sparky. You can go home for the day. You're good, man. You can check out now. Thank you so much. Good, good service today. 125.74 in profit. Not our best day, but then I, I spent a lot of money. All right, yogurt is down. Eggs are up. One of the flowers is up. The rice is down. Okay. All right. Let's just... Whew, wow. This this store. Holy moly. Okay. What do I not have? Bread. I definitely need bread. I need more of that rice. Wow, that rice sold really well. Spaghetti. Peanut butter would not be a bad idea. Coffee would not be the worst idea. How about the dairy case? Probably another thing of cheese, but everything else is looking good. Candy and cakes, I need the cakes. And I completely sold out on, as usual, the powdered sugar. And I didn't even notice. We had no powdered sugar kicking around. Yeah, thanks for telling me about that one. Okay, here's the deal, Sparky. If we sell out of something, like throw a post-it note up and say, you know, we're out of. So the boss can see it and remember to reorder it. No, I can't remember what's on the shelves. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, you have a photographic memory. You just memorize every single thing that's on the shelves. Well, no, I could write it down. You're right. No, I could draw myself, like, a little map or something and say, this lives here and that lives there. No, I, I, I get what you're saying there, Sparky. Now, let's crack the place open here. We are open for business. One last thing of coffee coming in here. Got a little bit of dead space on the shelf, which is not ideal, but... I'm learning to cope with it. What I'd love to do is get enough money today to get yet another license and order some new stuff in here. If I was to do that, because I don't have to pay attention to the register right now, if I was to do that, what could we do here? That'll get me juice and soda and stuff. So I'd really want to crack open another refrigerated case. Honey, tuna, eggs, more powdered sugar. You guys know this isn't granulated sugar, right? This is so not what you think you're selling. Have a wonderful cereal day, sir. No, it's not that I'm it's not that I'm looking over your shoulder, man. I'm just I just want to make sure everything's going smoothly here for you. So you're going to get that. You're going to give him some change. Oh, it looks like he had exact change. There's the powdered sugar right there. Yeah, thanks for not telling me that we were out of powdered sugar. Ah, uh, you just rang her up for zero. You just rang her up for zero on her credit card. Is there uh sir, should I be talking to loss prevention here? 
Hey, Ranger, I watched you. I was over your shoulder. I know I said I wasn't over your shoulder, but I was quite literally over your shoulder. You rang her up for zero money, dude. This lady's whining about the yogurt price. Yeah, there's not much I'm going to be able to do with that lady. I'm only making a buck on this. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to bring that down to 189 All right, 189 I make one dollar on it. Okay, do you know how much that fridge costs me to run? No, I don't know either. But I'm sure it costs me money. I pay bills every day. It must be costing me something. And I'm only making a dollar in profit on that. So I think, oh, Jay-Z's back. Hey, Jay-Z, I think you can pay me a dollar profit on the yogurt. And maybe not. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. That was like three customers ago. I know I'm, I'm talking. Have a wonderful cereal day, ma'am. I'm sorry. I wasn't actually specifically talking at you. I was, I was mostly, no, I, I'm not following you home. I'm sorry. I'll leave now. Oh, my man here is buying the expensive flour. Oh, you got some high quality baking to do later. That was three bags of the pricey flour. I ain't, I ain't sad about that at all. If I did put another fridge in, where the heck would I put it? Maybe over here by the door. That might be kind of fun. And we got gutted on flour again. The flour is just flying out of here. Okay, well, give me one of those and one of the, the expensive flowers down here. Yeah, give me one of those. Uh, what else might I need while I'm kind of in the neighborhood? You know what's been killing it right now is the oil. So let's make sure we've got plenty of slippery and then plenty of not slippery. I'm coming, sir. I'm coming. Yes, I have the flower right here. Here's the inexpensive, cheap flower for your very cheap, not very tasty baking needs. May I recommend the expensive flour? Your family will be happier about that. And yes, I've got the oil right here, sir. There we go. There's some more oil for your oil and flour party that you're clearly having sold out on rice, almost sold out on cake. We are just killing it today. Give me one of those and then, you know what, give me two boxes of rice. It's flying out of here. Now that's the kind of day I'm talking about there. Almost 300 bucks up in profit. Price of flour is down. Peanut butter is up. Okay, I got 631 to my name right now, and I've got a lot of empty stuff. I've, the, the salt is almost gone. The pasta is almost gone. kind of like to consolidate the pasta into, well, that shelf. Okay, salt, pasta, other pasta, slightly different pasta. Hey, Sparky. So I'm going to grab this salt from here, and that's already full. So fine, I've got a huge box with a tiny thing of salt in it. I want to put this pasta up here. So now this is just pasta and salt. And then remove these. And I'll just kind of keep those as a backup item. All right, what else have I got over here? Salt, bread, a couple of more things of spaghetti. Okay. Flour, powdered sugar. And then what is going to live in here? How's the dairy case? Cheese and maybe eggs. I'm just going to get my man Sparky going here because there's no reason not to. I can just spend my time restocking while we pull some more money in. Yeah, I was completely sold out on peanut butter. Completely sold out on peanut butter. I really need different products though. I need my man Sparky here to be rushing some people through the line so I could afford sooner rather than later a new license for some new things. And of course that means as I looked at pretty much the economical one is going to be the thing that needs a new fridge. How are we going to accommodate that? I think I will put it by the door. I think that would be fun. Okay, my man just gutted me on the expensive flour. I think he bought like five of them. Hang on, where where is he? I want to, I want to see. Oh, it's Jay-Z. Uh, how much flour do you need, man? Because I want to see how many bags of flour you just bought. I'm pretty sure you bought all of them. You bought, what, three, three of my bags of flour. Okay, so that's the expensive flour. The red flour. Do I have any more of that? No. Got a couple of things of pasta. Not so much on the flour. All right, I will I will get that order. Is there anything else I need? More peanut butter would actually not be the worst idea, but I want to hold off on that for right now. Okay, expensive flour. Good thing, too, because he just bought the last bag of it. There you go. There, There's some more flour for you. Pick up some oil on your way out. I'm pretty sure those two things go together. Yeah, five fifty for the license, which I could get right now. But then I don't have another fridge. I could start consolidating the things that are in the fridge right now. Milk, soda, apple juice, soda. Yeah, these are all fridge items. I I would let... What is it? Time? Is it 1.30? I'm reluctant to spend literally every penny I have on that new license. 
I'd rather kind of get through the day and see where things are at. Especially as I'm having to spend money to just keep up with the day. I've got oil coming in, peanut butter coming in. It is a little frantic around here. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm getting the peanut butter right now, sir. More peanut butter coming in. Sir, could, could you grab one thing of oil, please? Do, do you need oil? I just, I've got one thing in the box that's kind of annoying. Sir, do you want to get some oil? How, how slippery are you feeling? Would you like to be more slippery? Because I, I just got this one thing. I'm sorry the tea is expo so expensive. The oil is not. The oil is reasonably and fairly... Pr I just got the one in the box, man. Do you want to... Now nah, you're going for the peanut butter. Okay. Okay, it has been crazy around here, but I think we can go ahead and finish out the day. I assume... Well, let's find out. I've got 977.87 plus whatever this guy's going to give me here. I assume finishing the day will mean these three customers will pay. Let's find out. So I had 996 when I entered that. 996. They didn't pay. They didn't pay. Those people didn't pay. Sparky. Just because the sign says closed, get the rest of the people through through the line and let them pay for things. You just let them walk out the door. You just threw your hands up and said, oh, boss says we're closed. I guess you guys can just leave with your groceries. Have a wonderful cereal day. So I'm trying to weirdly spend as little money as I can restocking the place so I can have some money left over to buy a new license. So cheese, that can go... Back in the dairy case, everything else I'm I'm not great on. I've, I've got empty space. I could be filling this up with literally anything at all. I see we're out of one shelf of cereal there, too. But at the same time, I'd kind of like to keep the money high so that during the day, I can get new, cooler things. All right, open for business. The shelves are, well, not bare. We have products, just not quite as full as I would like them to be. Am I going to go for the new license right away, or am I going to go for the new fridge? Because I need both. It's largely irrelevant. I need both of those. So let's go ahead and purchase this. Okay, we have purchased that. Orange juice, soda, apple juice, different kind of milk, and some more soda. Are any of those, like, well, I say wicked cheap. They probably, something I can get affordable, but I don't have space in the fridge. This is, actually, I've got a spot down there. And we just got some new milk things, didn't we? I could put the new milk in there. Show me new milk, please. Yeah, six pack of milk. It's only 22 bucks. Let's just put something new in there while I work up the money to afford the fridge, which I think I can technically do in about 10 seconds as soon as Sparky gets through a few customers. But let's not go crazy right now. Let's just get the milk where the milk... Excuse you. Darn it, there is one carton of milk down there. Could somebody buy that one carton, please? I... I don't think this is the right size box, and I've got nowhere to put this. Sir, sir, you look like you desperately need some calcium. Could you please, just the one at the bottom. No, I, no, the date on it is fine, man. The date on it is fine. It's been stored at room temperature anyway. What do you care? I'm already sold out of the expensive flour again. The people are going nuts for the crazy expensive flour. Um, fine, get me two. I can't really afford that. I mean, I can afford it. It's not a question of I can't pay the bill. It's just a question of I want to be conserving my money here so I can bring in soda and something else. Has anyone bought that last thing at the bot at the bottom? Of oh, come on, guys. You know, I'm going to need to need to buy a crate of milk and somehow empty it and then get the... <sighs> you, you, you. Desperate need of calcium. Right at the bottom. Right? No, the date is fine, I assure you. I mean, the money is there for the new fridge. I'm not saying I can't buy a new fridge. I'm just saying I've got to think about stocking up for tomorrow. I mean, the yogurt's gone down here, so let's get the yogurt filled up. Anyone buy that last thing of milk? No, it's just sitting there all lonely. It's going to go off. Well, it is technically 9 o'clock, but I'm not letting this lady out of here until she proves that she paid for her stuff. Uh, Jay-Z's back. Welcome back, Jay-Z. He must live around the corner or something like that. Uh, so you're getting, what, a couple of boxes of cereal. Good choice. Good choice. Have a wonderful cereal day, ma'am. Or night, as the case may be. Have a wonderful cereal night. No, we're not leaving until she pays. That's how these things work, man. Just because the sign says closed doesn't mean we just let them out the door with their products. That's insane. You know what? While you're dealing with her, I'm going to order a fridge. So how much is fridge A? 200 bucks. Uh, good. Oh, wait a minute. It's after nine. I won't be able to order that. All right. I'll have to do that in the morning. Start in the morning with an even 500 bucks. Well, technically it's not even at all. It's $500 and 30 cents, but we're going to call that an even 500 bucks. I've got a bunch of stuff sitting on the floor here. Let's get Fridge A. 
Okay, it's still in the cart actually. So fridge A, purchase fridge A. Perfect. That leaves me about 300 bucks to play with to get started. So where, I was kind of thinking by the door. I was kind of thinking like maybe right over here. And that would be, you know, sort of your impulse chilled items like soda and what. I know when there's a soda thing right by the door, I just grab one. I can't help it. And like any good convenience store, let's make sure we start blocking up the windows to really reduce the amount of ambient light in here and also pose a horrible security risk. Because if we're being robbed, if Sparky is being robbed and I line this place with shelves, nobody will be able to see a damn thing. No, I'm very conscious of your security, I assure you. Okay, what do we not have? And also, what's cheap? So of the new things that we just got, there we go. There's my sodas. Wow, they are pretty cheap. They are not bad at all. I've got that milk, but I really want to put that in, you know, the milk case. I need somebody to buy that darn thing right at the bottom there. Well, how about we get, say, one of each? Let's get an OJ and this soda, that soda, and that soda, and then we'll fill up that shelf with that. Oh, but this takes two shelves per case. All right, I only got three three shelves left there. Okay, good to know. Now, Let's be smart, Dave. I know, you don't usually skew in that direction. But let's be smart, Dave. Let's actually set the price before we open. So this is, wow, this only cost me 40 cents? And you want 212 for it? That is pretty good. How about uh, 209? You know what? Let's keep it on the cheaper side. 209. That's a buck 69 back to me for every soda. And then keep that party rolling. I'm just going to keep the extras over here. I, I want to go for variety if we can. So... What else did I get? This kind of soda, whatever. Oh, wow, that looks like generic soda. Oh, nobody wants this one. Oh, you can just look at the label and go, oh, this is going to be the worst thing ever. But I've only got like three cents. I've got to have it. Speaking of three cents, let's make sure we're entering prices here. So this cost me 65. How about uh, 259 for that? 259 for that one. And then how about god awful generic? Please don't make me drink this soda. It's 50 cents. Of course it is. It's 50 cents. And you know what? It should stay 50 cents. I shouldn't even make a profit on this. I give you a buck 99 for that one. Okay, buck 90. Oh god, it just I just looking at it it looks awful. In a video game it looks awful. Let's throw the OJ down here. Can I get the whole thing in here not quite? Okay. All right. So pop this guy over here, I guess. Anything else I could be stocking up right now? I I got Oh wait, wait. Somebody bought the last milk. Oh, thank God. Wait, this needs to go on a shelf? It doesn't go in dairy? This this stays out unrefrigerated? Are you sure about that? That don't look right. That don't seem right at all. That's clearly labeled as milk. I mean, I know I've been storing it at room temperature, but it's not really encouraged to do that. Are you sure about this one? What is it, like evaporated milk or something? No, those come in cans. And set the price on the OJ. So that's costing me 85 cents. Um, let's get $2.99 on OJ. I think that's actually a really fair price. Ooh, that reminds me. I've got orange juice in the fridge. I forgot I bought that. Ooh, that's very exciting. I should go have some of that. This, however, is $3.75. And you're thinking $11.25 on that? I don't know about that one. How about $9.99? I want people just snapping this stuff up here. Right, what else do I need? I need peanut butter desperately. I could use a box of the new cereal. It's not really even that new anymore. And then all the usuals, like the powdered sugar. Let's see how people like a brand new fridge full of soda. Some of it terrible, some of it not so terrible. And then the cereal has got to go up over here. And then kind of have a second look at what new products we just unlocked. See if there's anything else I want to get in here. Uh, what do we got? Peanut butter. Yeah, people love the peanut butter. Except for people who are allergic to peanuts. They're not that crazy about the whole peanut butter thing. I mean, I suppose I could just put like OJ in here or something. I've got some. May as well pop some of that down on the bottom shelf there. No reason not to stock that up. We don't sell space. Okay, does this box work for milk? Oh, it does. Oh, good. All right, so let's shuffle that around. I should really start keeping some of these boxes for, you know, things. Really, dude? You're buying that six-pack of milk? You know it just sits on a, on a shelf at room temperature, right? That can't possibly sound right to you. Don't drink that, man. Now, what else could I be doing around here? Uh, oh, we need oil. I'm out of oil. I put the milk in the wrong place. That's the oil area. That's where slippery people go to live. So get me another thing of oil. Uh, you know what? While I just happen to be looking at it, 
give me one of these and one of the candies. I think those are almost sold out as well. One of the new oils there. Anything else I think I might be out of? And the answer is probably everything, but I can't spend a ton of money. I just did a big, big upgrade. Okay, tea, the first artisanal handcrafted cereal from the Barbarian Forest. I need two of those and then one thing. Uh, where's the tea? Yeah, one thing of tea. I'm just kind of... I'm shoveling against the tide here. I'm trying to get stuff in as fast as it's going out. People love this place. And milk. I'm sold out of milk. I gotta get more milk. I don't have enough milk. Uh, yeah, sure, get two of those. You know what? Um, get me literally anything. I will take almost anything at this point. Get me a thing of eggs. The cheese always sells fairly well. So get me however, whatever I just ordered, just, just send it to me. Just, just a constant stream of products. It's very... Very busy around here. I gotta find the cereal first. Let me grab that from the bottom of the pile, make sure the cartons of milk fall over. Have a wonderful cereal day, sir. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm running around like a maniac here. Have a wonderful cereal day. Uh, this is an extra carton of milk. You, sir, have a... I'm full on milk. Milk's fine right now, everybody. It's, everybody stop panicking. Milk is fine. Just, just calm down, everyone. From calm down. What have I got here? The expensive flour. Yep, I'm out of that. Good, good thing I got another box there. Everybody have a wonderful cereal day. I'm just throwing flour around here. Would it be completely insane to start thinking about a second checkout counter? Because I, I bet these people aren't super happy with this. They're waiting a wicked long time in the line to to get their stuff out of here. What am I out of? Uh, peanut butter I'm almost out of again. Slippery things not doing so well. Uh, spaghetti. I, I'm pretty sure I I might have another box of spaghetti around here. I don't, but I've got some pasta. That'll do. And contrary to my own opinion, the generic soda is actually selling very, very well. Probably because of the cheap price point. People will drink virtually anything when it's combined with vodka. Boy, did I learn that lesson the hard way one time. And whatever the disgusting room temperature milk is, it's sold out. Okay, more of that, more of peanut butter, more coffee, more spaghetti, more of the blue flour. This place is insane right now. I think we've been out of salt for a long time, too. I've, I forgot about salt. Salt just slipped from my memory. Apple juice, we'll come back to the concept of apple juice at some point. What else could I possibly need around here? Coffee, I said I needed coffee. Uh, just get one box of that regular pasta, too. I think I'm surprisingly pretty good on bread for right now. Okay, everything out, and then let's just get this party semi-started here. Good enough. Crack the day open. I'll figure the rest of it out from there. That is probably an excellent place to call it on Supermarket Simulator for today. We're getting slammed. It's, it's tough just keeping up with this place. I am clearly the most popular artisanal cereal store in the area that happens to have a variety of other goods, but mostly about the artisanal handcrafted cereal made in the Bavarian forest using ancient techniques. Guys, do please let me know what you think in the supermarket simulator in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. But maybe we close the door during a zombie apocalypse, Cinnamon, huh? It's just basic security technique. If the door is closed, Cinnamon, Cinnamon, the zombies are going to have to work harder to get in. What you've done is put up a big sign on the top of your roof here that says, Hey, zombies, this way for food. All right, is there an actual fire or are you just telling me that fire is a thing that exists? Because I'm very familiar with that. Fire loves me and it wants to be near me at all times. And I'm pretty sure they're trying to beat him to death with a baguette, which is less effective than you might commonly think it would be. I have created epic fruitcake. Those words have never been uttered in the entirety of human history. That sentence has never come together. I have made epic fruitcake.